everybody this is Jean here from True Love Quilts for You and um, this is just a little add-on tutorial um, to my tote bag that I had made in my last video the other day you saw me making this little tote bag and somebody had asked and excuse me I forget who it was on my comments on my YouTube channel somebody had asked if I could show you how I make the bottom the base the hard base for the bottom of my bag I had made this bag as you know if you remember I had made this bag and then the bottom I it's a cardboard base that you just tuck in right to the edges of your bottom the base of your handbag now um, this handbag here is this size right the bottom of your bag you want this size so what you're going to be needing is a, a lovely bit of cardboard now I had got my husband we had just bought a new generator actually and out of the generator box came this wonderful bit of card it's really really nice I sound like a hoarder don't I oh I love my cardboard but I'm gonna keep this cardboard because that's really super um, that's really nice and I said so what I did is um, you can use a obviously you can use a cardboard box if you want if you get products online I wouldn't recommend like a cereal box because you want you want your cardboard quite stiff and heavy and a corrugated card is what you really would want now I had made several totes before and actually I had um, in my in my um, stash in my scraps I had about three smaller cutting mats from years ago when I was um, started to quilt I've gone through about three of them I think I mean I've had this one my Martelli for the last two years but some of them had gotten a little bit shredded and a, a one broke um, so I saved those cutting mats I'll tell you a cutting mat an old cutting mat if you have one hanging around makes a wonderful bottom of a bag base really really nice that green or the yellow or whatever color pink that base that that, that material would make a really nice uh, base for the bottom now it's not rocket science this is very simple to make um, I, I so I had a piece of leftover um, of, if you remember my or my tutorial I backed my actual patchwork quilt here with a bit of white it's not muslin but it's like just a white piece of fabric I'm gonna use that I'm just gonna use that um, if you have extra lining fabric that would look lovely that's what I did with my yellow and black bag there if you have an extra bit of lining I'm just gonna use this now what I am gonna do is I have it also and I'll put the camera down I have a um, I have a uh, piece of leftover foam I'm going to cut this I already cut it to the width of my base and I'll show you how I do that um, uh, but I think I'm also going to get a piece of foam just to make it a little bit softer um, on the inside now obviously th this what you want this to go right to the corner of your boxed corners on each to sort of hold your bag out and to hold it nice and sturdy obviously it's not going to be washable <laughs> because I just machine it very simple I just make a sleeve and I machine the end um, so it's not like going to be washable so if, if oh, you, you melt a chocolate bar in your handbag you're just going to have to wipe it off or something I guess you could make it washable but what ain't nobody got time for that anyway so this is just going to stick in here like that right to the end what I what I have done is I've looked at the size that my bag is here I've already done it somewhat and there's my there's my width of my cardboard I cut that out so I wasn't showing you that there's my width of my cardboard now I'll just cut it to here because I have to cut some of that off to go right to the end there now I, you want to make this just the same size or just slightly bigger because your fabrics going to take up a little bit you don't want it to bow you don't want it to like not fit but you want it to be snug so another way to do it is to put your bag on your card and mark it around with a marker mark it around and then cut your card out um, and then I am going as I said I am going to attach um, my fusible I'm not gonna fuse it because I'm not gonna iron it I'm just gonna do a glue stick and attach that just so it's a bit softer and then I'll make my sleeve um, for the bottom of my bag so that's that um, whoever it was like you must excuse me because YouTube is down 
something's happening with YouTube and it's been it took me about five hours to upload that video the other day I don't know what's up with that it's not our internet because I was checking and I'm not quite sure what it was but I looked and quite a few people were having trouble so excuse me for whoever it was that made who asked because I said yes that will be my next tutorial so that's my tu that's going to be this little tutorial now um, it's not rocket science it, it doesn't take very much um, but it really does make a nice finishing to your tote bag oh a couple of people were saying wouldn't this make a lovely diaper bag I'm like that would be so super now I have made I put one pocket in there you could you could actually put like five pockets in here like one two three four five yeah but six pockets so you have you know, a bigger pocket for diapers a bigger a pocket for pacifiers or for a baby bottle or for um you know whatever wipes and then and then your actual clothing or a baby quilt could go in the middle what a fabulous fabulous present to make somebody said um also um for a baby shower present in this country we have baby showers um, you could make it and then fill it as like a gift bag with other little presents you know just make it like this but I thought what a good idea to put tons of pockets in on the side for anything actually for any for any anything that you would need if you go to the if you go to the beach or the pool um, a pocket for your phone a pocket for headphones um, sunscreen you know things like that uh, that it would be awesome you could put you could put vinyl inside um, like line your line it with vinyl and then put vinyl so your wet bathing suits or wet towels I think this is it's a nice sturdy big tote um, so now and again you want the bottom of it so I'm going to show you now how I make the bottom of my bag so what I have done is I have taken the bottom of my bag and I have marked my piece of card and as you see it's it's almost the exact same size and it's even a little slightly slightly bigger you want to you want to start out by making it a little bit bigger obviously you want to make it a little bit bigger and then you can always cut it down because if it's not big enough it's not if it's not just the right size it's not really doing the trick so here's my piece of card and I, I'm going to push it into my bag and right into the corners and as you can see just like that my card it pushes the lining down lovely the sides of the lining and you can see it fits beautifully in there so I know that that's pretty much exactly the size that I want now as I was saying I had a piece of this left over I did not cut this seriously this is how it came off look at that and it's exactly it was sort of meant to be right it's exactly the size that I want of my my foam look at that So I'm gonna make it slightly smaller just my foam there and just cut it like that I save all my bits of foam Oops. and so there is my foam look at that I'll just straighten that up a little bit now this doesn't have to be the exact size it can just be slightly smaller because we don't again we don't want it to be so big that it bows and I'm going to take off a little bit at the end So there you go there's that's the size now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a glue stick and I'm going to glue this is a purple glue stick obviously and this is a glue that that um, disappears oh it's a mess <laughs> just push that up like that oh it's done yeah that's it I've been using that so I can toss that and then there's my glue it's just you do, we just want it to be just push it down a bit just so it stays a little bit like that again that's obviously never you're never going to see this again I'll put my bag aside over here and oops oops it fell <laughs> so so now as I was saying I had a piece of leftover um white fabric and all I'm going to do is I think I yeah I have enough what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a, have a piece that's 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 um exactly I'm gonna exactly double um, I could do it this way but no I think I'm gonna do it this way I'm gonna do it that way like that because I'm going to as you can see there's my piece there 
just going to cut it here. And it's about an inch and a half, two inches bigger down at the bottom. And I'm just going to allow, as you can see, there's my piece right there. I'm going to allow a decent size, maybe even an inch seam down the side, just like that. Just like that. Now, I'm going to go over to my machine, and I'm just going to put right sides together for this. Move, take this apart. There's my right sides. I'm just going to take, put right sides together of this piece here. Again, you can see it's not, it's not, you know, it's not perfect. It's, it's fine. I'm just going to do a st about a, an inch away on each side, or maybe about three quarters of an inch, because what, it, well, obviously what we want to do is we want to be able to slot this in, but we want to be able to slot it in easily, fairly easily. So I'm just going to um, do the seam right here on either side. But what I am going to do is I'm going to turn this back about an inch. I'm going to turn that back about an inch at the very beginning of my seam there, as you can see. I'm just going to stitch it like that because we're just going to top stitch that bit along. And I think, yes, that will, that will just be top stitched when this is in here. So uh, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to stitch it on either side and with these two flaps up like that. Now, as you can see, I hadn't even ironed this. I will in a minute. I cut my piece, and I had made a, I had made a stitch there, a, a seam there, and then I came back, and I actually sort of fit this into my, into my, I haven't turned it right side out yet. I sort of put my piece in there, and I had seen that that, uh, that outside seam was too big, but I quite like that fit there. It has a little bit of wiggle room, but... I'm not going to trim off this excess seam here. Now I'm just going to turn, because I want sort of the bulk in there anyway. So that's like about an inch, maybe an inch and a half seam. Now again, you could just do this quarter inch seam if that's, if that's how you'd want to do it. I just push these points out right like that to make a nice point. And then the side seams, and again, as you see, I have the ends folded in. Now I'm just going to go over and I, I'm going to iron that so the seams are nice to the side right there. And then what I'm going to do is here's my piece and as you can see it's like one. I'm just going to slot that in there and as you can see the the seams sort of took up that area. There you go. And there, there, after I iron that there's the cardboard side, but I quite like that padded side. I think that's nice on the bottom of a bag. What I'm going to do now is I'm literally just going to go over. I'm going to iron this like that right there. And then I'm going to go over to my machine with my cardboard inside the package here. With it inside because it's done. It's like done. It takes two seconds, right? Literally. I'm just going to go over and I've left about half an inch at the bottom there, as you can see. So my my machine will just run right along there and do a nice stitch. I'll just reinforce that, reinforce that. And there's the bottom of my, my bag thing. So here is my little bag bottom, nice and sturdy, nice and padded, little bit of scrapped, leftover scrap fabric. Um, it's nice and soft. And then I'm just going to, I'm just going to put it into my bag push it down. Oh, it fits so nice. You really, really want it to fit snugly, not too tight because it will then bow. But I'm going to tuck those ends in like that, my machined end. And there, there is my little bag with my bottom, my white, my white bottom there. And it fits beautifully. And it's nice and sturdy with my feet there, as you can see. That's the size of it, and it looks super. It looks lovely, and it's soft on the bottom. So, um, like you, even if you have a glasses or your a, a camera, it's not going to get. It's not going to. And you put it down hard, it's protected. So that's my little bag. That's my little bottom of my bag. It's all finished. So I hope you like this little tutorial. And again, I hope you make your tote bag or your little handbag because it's a super little, it's a super little thing. All right, so from sunny Pennsylvania here, it is beautiful day, I'm gonna go outside, get some sunshine, and I hope you are all keeping safe indoors, and um, yeah, we will see you when we do. All right, thanks again, folks. See ya, bye. 
sorry, this is a PS to my, to my tutorial. Um, I just wanted to share with you folks that I have um, a Patreon account. And what a Patreon account is um, on another site is it's I, ha I do exclusive videos uh, about one a month. I believe I've told you before, but if you're new to my channel, I do exclusive videos once a month with a small project for my patrons who basically I have sort of a quote tip jar in my um, sewing room and they leave me a tip. Um, and then they are they can access a uh, exclusive tutorial for them. And I am I what I do is I do the tutorial, um, a full length tutorial, and then I I make the project in front of your eyes and it's finished. And then uh, the next month I will choose a winner of that project, one of my patrons who's kindly uh, generously supported me with money. Um, it's really, really nice, especially now at this time of uh, this time, this financial climate. It's been really, really helpful to me. So last month's, I think I did share this with you, but I wanted to show again if you're new. I had made a tutorial on this little wet bag here. Um, this little piece of, um, it's fully lined and has like a waterproof canvas and a zipper top here. Um, so this is my little wet bag um, that... Um, uh, Irene Brown, she's one of my patrons, um, it's going to be winging its way to her um, as soon as we can get out to the post office. So she won that. I, ch I choose a winner each month of my actual little project that I make. This one was nice. And again, I give you step-by-step -by -step -by -step instructions on what to purchase and what to buy and how to make this little bag here. This month's little project is a handy dandy little wallet that I've made. I haven't finished it yet. I have to go out to the shops and get a snap um, for my thing. But it's a little wallet, but it has a twist because this month, um, if you, any of you... If any of you are quilters, of course you're quilters. What the heck are you doing here if you're not quilting? Um, what what there's a there's a um, website and I've shared it with you before called VillaRosaDesigns.com. And what Villa Rosa Designs um, are sort of famous for are these little um, cardboard two by uh, four, four by six inch patterns. A full size pattern is on this card here. Of, of different quilts. This one has um, placemats. These are quilts. This is a laundry bag. Um, that's a sewing machine cover. So this month, they're $2 a piece if you go on their website, villarosadesigns.com. Awesome. They have hundreds of them. Hundreds of them. So this month, or next month, I'm going to choose a winner of my little wallet that I did a full tutorial on, fully lined wallet. This wallet actually is custom made for these um, these cards here but this could be a passport holder and you you can figure out the size it can be a coupon holder um, it could be a notebook holder you could put a little loop there for a pen um, you could make it bigger for uh, for a pad of paper uh, again for coupons for money actually just actually money uh, for gift cards you could make it a bit smaller and it actually is a very, very nice, this again, I used a fusible fleece on this, not the foam. I used a fusible fleece. You can use an interfacing. I had done a prototype and I didn't love just this, the stiff inner. I didn't, I, did I do anything? No, I didn't do anything. I just did, did the fabric. And even though this is doubled and tripled, it wasn't substantial enough. So this little tutorial, I did the actual foam. Oh, what a nice little soft lovely little wallet. So next month, my, one of my patrons will be getting this and I am include, I'll finish it off with a snap. I will include six or seven of my cards. So somebody will win a selection of Villa Rosa design pattern cards and my wallet. So that's because I'm very appreciative of people who support me over on Patreon. Patreon. So it's www.patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com slash gene true love one two three so that's my patreon that's my patron videos um again once a month approximately i do a tutorial and one of these presents could be yours <laughs> so anyway thanks again folks and again all you youtubers and my patrons especially thank you so much for supporting me all right have a lovely day bye